I'm going to be making something extremely awesome today. A pea pod soup. The only ingredients you're going to need for this recipe today are some stock, garlic, the pods, an onion, some olive oil, and get my canning pot out because I had way too many pea pods. A gallon and a half of pea pods is way too much for my little guy. And I didn't know how much I had. I just kept freezing them all summer long when I was harvesting. So I saved them for this day. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in there. That fills that up over half full. Just sauteing up my garlic. I like them nice and sauteed up. You don't have to get them really small because you're going to be blending all this anyway. And uh, so don't worry too much about slicing and dicing really tiny. I just want to, to blend this, uh, to saute this up really super well. I put some olive oil in here. and Now what you want to do is you want to add your onions and your garlic into your stock pot here. Just with the oil and everything, just put it all in there. I want to put some thyme in there. Now this thyme is from our own garden. We dehydrated this. Wonderful idea. She, uh, I'm going to put these all in here. And and then we'll just tie a knot in this, and then we're just going to put it right in here, and then we take it out before we blend it. We're also going to add a bay leaf to this be because we like bay leaves. So let's do two because we have so many, so much. We have a gallon and a half of pea pods here. So we're going to add, and these came from our own garden as well. So there we go. We're going to add the stock. So stir it up just a little bit because it's been sitting there on you. And we're going to add the starter into here. And what your goal is, is to cover the uh, amount of product that you're using. So for 45 minutes, add a nice rolling boil. So stir it occasionally. You know, it wouldn't surprise me in a year or two we have smell-o-vision. But uh, <laughs> this is smelling fantastic. Of course, after it's done cooking, to your satisfaction... You want to take it and scoop it out, the everything, everything that's in it, you want to scoop out and put into your blender. My blender just came out of my dishwasher, so it's obviously very hot as well. So I did not put this hot stuff into, into a cold blender. And you might not want to do that, it could probably bust it. So, so put some in your blender, along with your juice, of course, so that uh, you can blend all this down. There we go, put the lid on. Fibrous, so you want to blend it really well. So, once you blend it for a little bit, go ahead and start to strain it. Now you might end up blending it two or three times till you get it to the consistency that you want. This is very fibrous, see? So when you get a shot here, see how it wraps around the bottom? So be careful when you go to do it again that you get all of those fibers out of there because there's nothing to give you the soup except what's the pod made out of. So we're going to pop it back in here again and we're going to add some more from the stock over there in it and just keep blending it until it's the consistency we want. This is the final consistency of what you want your blended fibers to look like. Um, I wouldn't blend it any more than this wait, right here. I mean, you can keep going forever if you felt like it and uh, with all this. And so um, this is as, as much as I'm going to do. Now, once you're done here, this liquid will be poured back in. And I'm going to blend it all by itself, just a liquid, so that I can make sure that I get everything out of. See, I just lost a couple more little fibers in there. I measured it in the cup, and it turned out to be five cups exactly of pea pod soup. I thought it would be cool if we could um, take some of the ice cube trays, and I could pour some of this pea soup into the ice cube trays. I love to make crockpot stews. Then I could take some of these pea cubes, toss them into the crockpot stews, and it would make a nice flavor for our soups. And so that's what I'm going to do. Two, tr two trays of pea pod soup. But she hates pea soup and yet loves this.
Yeah, I hate pea soup out of a can, and I just can't stand it. It's too salty and yucky for me. Last of the video of the pea pod soup I made. The, here they are. They've been frozen in these ice cube trays. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do is just put these cubes in baggies, freezer baggies. And then today, because the daughter is very ill, has a very high fever, I'm going to be taking some of the cubes and I'm going to be putting them into the crock pot because I'm going to be making up a homemade veggie stew. It's always nice when you're ill to have homemade veggie stew. So this is the end of my pea pod stew. Uh, I hope that you guys have learned something and enjoyed something. And if you have any comments, hey, let me know.